I was just about to ask you why there was a tomato out here. It's not a tomato, it's an apple because we're in New York. Hey guys, I'm Elliot Georgiatis with Whistle Sports and I'm here in Queens, New York on my search for the best ballpark food in America. I've heard the Mets do it really well. We're gonna hop on the train, take it in Queens, do the whole New York City ballpark experience. But basically the game plan is just to walk around and if it looks good, we eat it. This is my first time on a subway and as an Ohio girl, I gotta admit, I'm a little intimidated. Lucky you'll see a rat. I don't wanna see a rat. They're cute. Is it lame to hold on? Fun fact, City Field, number one rated ballpark in the country for food. I would definitely say that's one of the more unique experiences you could ever have in your life, is taking a train to a baseball game in New York City. Look at that dog, they have a Mets jersey on. Even on a Tuesday night, two hours before the game, this place is full of fans. I can already tell it's gonna be a good time. All right, so here on the back side of the ballpark is Pat LaFrida's. This is an iconic butcher shop in New York City that's been in business for generations. They're known for their filet mignon steak sandwich, which is hand-cut beef, melty Monterey Jack cheese, and sauteed onions on a toasted baguette. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The cheese is really melty. It has a bunch of like caramelized onions on it. The bread is awesome even. So good. I give this an eight and a half out of 10. This is a good one. It totally lives up to the hype. Hot pastrami on rye. Never had a pastrami sandwich before, but I feel like if you're in New York, now is the time to try it. Okay, well this smells insane. My mouth is watering. Where has this been all my life? Wow. The meat is so tender, the bread is so soft, and with the mustard, I love it a lot. 9.1 out of 10. The Mets are crushing the game right now. All right, so behind me is Fuku, same as Mama Fuku. They have a spicy fried chicken sandwich. We're gonna try it. It's pretty spicy, not too bad, but although I am starting to sweat a little bit. Really crispy. Okay, it is spicy, I'm lying. Super crispy, the bun is super soft, it's really hot. I'm gonna give this like 7.5 out of 10. It's good, but I probably wouldn't need to get it again. It's a little spicy for me. I have to say too, like the whole Mets ballpark, Super impressive, really clean, really nice. It's a fun place to come watch a game. The most iconic thing about New York is a New York slice of pizza. Prince Street, one of the best slices in the city. The thing they're known for though, thicker slice, square cut, and it's got this spicy pepperoni on top. This is an exceptional slice of pizza. I love it so much. Definitely not your typical New York slice. It's not thin crust, but it's so good. And look at how many pepperonis are on it. I'll give it like an 8.7 out of 10. It's really good. All right, Amberell's in New York, also classically Italian, right next to Prince Street Pizza. We are going to get the garlic bread, excellent meatballs hero. Don't know if I have good vibes on this one. Not the most attractive thing I've ever bought at a ballpark. I'm doing this for you, for the authentic review. It's okay. It's just not the best meatball sandwich I've ever had. Five out of 10. This, this is, I would say, you know what? I would say this is a swing and a miss. All right, so you probably don't think barbecue when you think of New York, but there is this place here at City Field called Pig Beach Barbecue. We're gonna go check it out. I think the platter takes a longer time to put together. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I was not mentally prepared for this. I'm afraid to like knock into somebody while I'm carrying this. All right, so let's break down the tray a little bit. Two meats, it was pulled pork and the beef brisket. So there's macaroni and cheese and coleslaw. This is definitely a pretty decent bang for your buck. I'm gonna try the pulled pork first. Okay, New York, that's good. Tender, warm, light sauce, doesn't disappoint so far. It's already giving like tender brisket vibes. I'm super impressed by this. This whole thing is $28. Big bang for your buck on this plate. I would give this like 8.2 out of 10. Ending the night with a cute little Mets donut seems like the perfect way to go out. I didn't realize it was filled. It's very orange inside. Love the team enthusiasm. I'm gonna give the donut like seven and a half out of 10. All right guys, I totally see why City Field is rated the number one ballpark for food in the country. It absolutely lived up to the hype. We had so many good things, so many good New York things. There was the Prince Pizza, the hot pastrami sandwich. Oh my God, it was all so good. Definitely worth a trip out to Queens. If you're in the area, it is a great night at the ballpark here at City Field. Catch you guys next time.